Hi everybody and welcome back to the blog spot. Now today we're going to talk about making a murderer where a detective sues Netflix for allegedly framing Stephen Avery. This comes from Rolling Stone and it came out on December 18th, 2018. This is the first I've heard about this, so I'm giving it to you guys now. Okay, here we go. A retired Wisconsin Sheriff's Detective, Andrew Colborn, is suing Netflix for defamation, alleging that the docuseries falsely claims he planted evidence to frame Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey for M. And you can see it right there. The lawsuit alleges that the series and its filmmakers omitted, distorted, and falsified material and significant facts in an effort to portray Colborn as a corrupt police officer who planted evidence to frame an innocent man. Defendants did so with actual malice and in order to make the film more profitable and more successful, sacrificing and defining Coburn's character and reputation in the process. Along with Netflix, Coburn is also suing the directors Laura Riccardi and Maura Demos, who are named as defendants, along with Netflix executives Lisa Nishimura and Adam Dale Dio and editor Mary Manhart. In a statement, Coborn's lawyer said of his client, his reputation and that of Mantua County itself has been severely and unjustly defamed. He is following this lawsuit to set the record straight and to restore his good name. In episode 5 of season 1, the show highlighted Colborn's testimony regarding a phone call he made to his dispatcher prior to the discovery of Hallback's car on Avery's property. In the recording, Colborn asked dispatch to run a license plate number, and after getting a hit for Hallbach, who was listed as a missing person at that point, Colborn immediately replies, 99 Toyota. During Avery's trial, Avery's lawyer quizzed Colborn on the call and suggested that his response made it seem that he was looking at Hallbach's car at that moment, but the car wouldn't be discovered for another two days. In court transcripts, it alleges that Colborn was looking at the car, was objected to and sustained by the judge. Their manipulation of this crucial line of testimony falsely conveyed to viewers that plaintiff located Hallbach's SUV somewhere other than at the salvage yard days earlier and likely assisted other law enforcement officers planted it there at a later time, the lawsuit reads. The impression is false and gave to viewers the exact opposite impression of what plaintiff was asked and how he responded at trial. I watched the first season of the show, and I have to agree. It did make it look like Colborn saw Hallbach's SUV somewhere else other than the Avery Salvage Yard days earlier when Teresa was first missing. Okay, now we're going to go to this next article, which is Netflix asked for dismissal of making a murderer lawsuit. 
And this comes from NBC 26, and it came out on May 10th, 2019. Okay, here we go. Netflix filed a motion back in May 2019 that asked for a dismissal of the lawsuit filed in 2018 by former officer Andrew Colborn. Colborn is suing for defamation, emotional distress, and negligence. Colborn argues that the documentary selectively edited trial testimony and took his statements and actions out of context. Netflix motion argues that Colborn fails to prove that Netflix acted with malice when it distributed making a murderer. And then the motion is states that because Colborn's intentional infliction of emotional distress claim is based entirely on the premise that Netflix defamed him, his lawsuit against Netflix should be dismissed with prejudice. Netflix did ask the sheriff's office if they wanted to participate in the first docu-series, but of course they said no. Okay, that's going to do it for me. Thank you for stopping by the channel. Please like the video, share the video, post your comment, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.